guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today we are filming a what's for dinner. So I'm bringing you three dinners that we made this week. The very last dinner is a brand new one we had never tried before and oh my gosh, did my family love it. So I think I say it in the voiceover, but if you take away any recipes, please take away this one. I'd love for you to stick around. We have so much fun on this corner of the internet. My name is Megan and I am a mom of three. I have a 17 year old, 13 year old, and a two year old. So very busy around here, but we do anything from decorating, cleaning, mom life, you name it, we do it. So I'd love for you to stick around. Yeah, these are some fun, yummy, quick and easy recipes that I have made this past week. So I hope you guys enjoy them. Leave a comment down below. What's your easy go-to weeknight recipe? I'd love to hear what you guys cook throughout the week for you and your little family. But yeah, let's get into the kitchen. So for our first dinner for tonight's what's for dinner is going to be a baked barbecue potato. So basically what I'm doing, and this is just going to save on time, is I do the Easy Baker Idaho potatoes. You just pop them in the microwave and they're good to go. You actually just pop them in, in the plastic. And then I have some shredded chicken that we grilled last night. It has a little bit of like barbecue seasoning and some barbecue sauce on it. And of course I'm going to add some more of the Kinder's Hickory. We really, really like the Hickory Brown Sugar one. Um, we'll probably toss it, top it with some cheddar cheese. I might throw like some jalapenos on mine. And then for a side, I'm going to do some cans of green beans, but I'll show you how we cook those on the stove. So let's get it going. I don't even know what my camera just said, but if you missed it, I did two cans of green beans, a diced onion, and then some real bacon bits just in like the pouch. If you had some real bacon fat and throw it in, but I just threw that all together and then I'm gonna let this cook while the potatoes are cooking in the microwave. So that's good and sauce. We're gonna go ahead and just warm this through in the microwave for about a minute or so. Mm -hmm. All right, so I figured I'd show you cause I always go ahead and make the kids first so it can kind of cool down. But this is Ridge, this is the toddlers. I just kind of did a little bit of separate. He always likes extra shredded cheese. But we had some cornbread left over from last night, so I popped that on their plates. The green beans, the barbecue chicken, and he's got like a quarter of a potato. He probably won't eat all that. And then this is Reese's. I just put hers in a bowl, and then I'm going to make mine. So this is how mine turned out. I just did the barbecue chicken with cheese. I drizzled a little bit more barbecue, and then I put a couple jalapenos, and then my green beans. And then this is what's for dinner tonight. All right, you guys, so for tonight's dinner, it's going to be a turkey meatball stir fry. This takes very little effort, very little time, very little ingredients. So this is a great weeknight dinner to always have on hand, um, just because a lot of it is either always something you have in your pantry or it's stuff in the freezer. But as you see, I'm just going ahead and cooking up some rice in our rice cooker. And then I'm going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees and I'm going to just cook half a bag of these turkey meatballs and they're gonna go in the oven for about 15 minutes. stir-fry that I just get in the freezer section and I'm going to throw that in a saute pan on medium medium high heat 
Um, I'm also going to go ahead and add a couple of cloves of garlic that I have um, that was going bad. And then I also remembered that I had a bag of onions that really needed to be used up this week that they were going to be going bad. And I find that if I have like fresh garlic or onion on hand and I'm cooking with frozen vegetables or canned vegetables, if I add a fresh onion or some fresh garlic, to the canned or the frozen vegetables, it kind of helps to just kind of bring them a little bit back to life, makes them feel a little bit more elevated and not so just canned vegetable or frozen vegetable. Um, that's just kind of what I have found cooking with. meatballs are coming out of the oven and I'm going to put them straight into our sauteed stir fry vegetables and then I am going to add um, teriyaki sauce this is the sauce that I have always loved using my family loves it you can use whatever teriyaki sauce to your liking and then I'm just gonna let it soak up and thicken up and you know the vegetables and the turkey meatballs soak up all this yummy sauce so I think I left it on the stove top for about like five to seven minutes and it was perfect Also totally forgot that I ended up adding a little bit of sriracha I mean just like a couple little splats of sriracha we find that we like a little bit of a kick in a lot of our dishes so whether it's sriracha or some crushed red pepper um, we tend to enjoy that even the baby likes a little bit of spicy I know it's weird he's two but the kid loves it anything spicy but I try not to do too too much but just a little bit of sriracha so however much or however little you want you can add that in as well This 
is Ridge's plate. As you can see, I just chopped up the turkey meatball, a little bit of rice. He had some applesauce on the side. And then, of course, my plate, and it was delicious. This is such a simple, easy weeknight dinner. All right, you guys, so for dinner number three this week is going to be a new recipe that I found in the family like devoured it like they were raving about it Reese and Rye were obsessed with it they said this is a new staple but it is called easy rotel chicken spaghetti um, and it wasn't hard to make at all so I ended up actually just splitting the recipe just because it was just us three I and mean, the baby doesn't hardly eat anything so if you want to make it for more people you need to do the full recipe so it basically called for a spaghetti a can of rotel two cans of cream of mushroom soup two cups of shredded cheddar cheese eight ounces of velveeta um, some onion powder garlic powder salt and then two pounds of chicken breast that i've already been cooked and shredded so as you guys see i'm just chopping up my i think i did like just four ounces of velveeta into little cubes um over on the right side i had went ahead and did some um, chicken thighs in our slow cooker all day and then I just went ahead and shredded that up so that was good to go but if you want to stop and get like a rotisserie on your way home or the night before or whatever um, that would be perfect in here too but as you can see I'm going ahead and boiling our spaghetti and getting that going spaghetti is cooking I went ahead and got a saucepan and I did just half of the can of Rotel like I said I split this recipe because we I knew we weren't gonna eat a whole lot so I just kind of measured out half a can of Rotel and then I'm adding one can of cream of mushroom soup then we are gonna go ahead and add our shredded chicken and our cubed up Velveeta I don't have onion powder so I threw just garlic powder and some salt and then I added about like a cup, half a cup to a cup of a shredded cheddar cheese and just let that cook all the way through and get ooey gooey and that is going to be our sauce. This stuff was ooey gooey 
from the Velveeta and the cream of mushroom. Oh my gosh. And then the Rotel gave it such great flavor. I, I tell you, I am like, I kid you not, like Rye wished that I had made a whole batch. He would have gone in for thirds. Like he had already went in for seconds. He said he would have gone in for thirds. So I'm telling you, if there's one recipe you're gonna take away from this video, please take this one. You'll thank me later. what's for dinner this week i hope this gave you guys some inspiration and some good ideas on making some fun new recipes next week for your what's for dinner but i hope you'll stick around if you're new here subscribe we have a lot of fun on this little corner of the internet and like this video if you loved any of these recipes as much as me and my family did and i love you guys and i will see you guys real real soon bye